this is a, a, a building, a structure that was gutted when we got here and, you know, bottles everywhere. This was just the foundation, and we added on a nice front porch, a big back porch. We, you know, worked with what we had, and it's amazing. And we put the drywall, the ceilings, the floors, the light fixtures. The plumbing, the electric, it's all something that we all did and actually know how to do now. Like, we're going through just just polishing our skills on things, just, just getting better, just doing the job the right way. We have a lot of pride in the work that we do. Actually, we don't want to do anything that you wouldn't be proud of if it was your own. We all feed into it, and we come out with something that's amazing. You know, I, I learn from everyone I'm around. We are like a big family. What we actually want to do is take young men from this community, train them through our training program to do building and construction, all the way from the landscaping into the finished construction work, allow them to train and also train with, with contractors. And our hopes is that they'll move on to apprenticeships and that's what we want to do. And then we'll, we'll keep bringing more people in. I think that empowerment begins with overcoming uh, the inertia uh, that traps people. Uh, many times people are paralyzed by fear, they're paralyzed by past failure, and, and so empowerment starts with uh, finding a way to tap into that person to where they start believing that change is possible uh, for me. I think Pastor Watts has been an incredible example of combining, uh, proclaiming the gospel very clearly and passionately, and serving the community very aggressively and creatively through the juvenile justice program, through the housing program that is just really taking off, through the in-school mentoring program. All of these are touch points uh, to, to, to actually minister to people on the outside of the church walls. We're not responsible to do for people what they should be doing for themselves, but if we can help people to see their, their giftedness, then we have started the process of, of empowerment. Sometimes that's all a person needs to know is that somebody believes that I can do this. And once you show them that you believe that they can do it, then they'll do it. They'll do it. They start to believe in themselves. All these guys are good guys. They want to do the right things. It's just they need the support in doing the right things. And I think that's going to be the biggest, the biggest challenge. People would not know that the guys in this community could come together and have these type of skills or learn this type of thing. It's often neglected. A lot of them have traits and abilities, but they're never really brought out of them. Those assets can be leveraged. Those assets can be multiplied. It's had a huge impact on my life and what I'm actually able to do. I think that we're bringing a sense of pride to the community. It's just a really good feeling to bring the community together. And we'll work late and we see the guys come by and they stop and look and wonder what we're doing. They, every, the whole community has come to look at the house. It's not that we want people to give us stuff, because it's not the giving part, because we're going to make it happen. We just need the support and the help and the trust. We think this will end up being a model community, and to see these young men actually see their finished product and the pride of knowing that, that they help build something in the community. It's just, it's Im immeasurable. I'm really impressed with myself and the guys that I work with. And that's our goal, is to put people to work in the community because then they become a viable part of the community. They have a, a vested interest in it and they feel a part of it. And we want to continue to try to calibrate the things we're doing and to stay on the cutting edge. And we think that our association with CCDA allows us to be connected with what we believe to be the preeminent Christian Community Development Association in, in the country, if not in the world. Uh, so that we can be a very strong witness to the power of Jesus Christ uh, to meet the, the felt needs of hurting people in our community.